Hey guys, so today I'm going to be coming at you with a new hairstyle, at least for me. I haven't done, I wouldn't necessarily say a new hairstyle. I haven't done Bantu knots in years uh, because they're almost like washing goes. You never know what you're gonna get, basically. So I'm gonna be using the Talia Wajid products. Now, I believe I used their curling curl cream years ago, but I do have the Great Detangler in there. So let's just get into the products. The Talia Wajid, the Great Detangler, leave-in conditioner, and co-wash. So you can use this many ways. You can use it as a leave-in uh, to detangle your hair. Deep conditioning, that's very interesting. I tried to use Use this as a detangler and I would have used the entire jar to detangle my hair so instead I have used it in the past as a leave-in conditioner no problems at all I purchased this from my local Sally's and this is eight ounces there's no parabens softens hair on contact creamy silky, silky formula no buildup with so soybean oil excuse me um, I haven't oh not yeah I have an official review on this product. It is extremely creamy as it states. Look at that. Really not a scent to it. If you wanna say lotion, okay, but very, very, very creamy. I'm gonna put some of that in my hair. Now the curling curl cream, I have not used this in a while. It states extreme curl definition, no buildup or frizz, moisturizes and conditions hair with shea butter and sage, also paraben free. Oh, have I used this before? I don't know, I don't know. Um, smells really nice. All right, consistency, oh, I don't, I don't know y'all, I, I don't know. Um, thick, this is what the consistency is like, but thick. So as I stated, I'm going to be, going to be doing Bantu knots. My hair is in a stretched out state. I found that with Bantu knots, it's best to do it on dry hair, stretch okay no it's because yeah I, I don't trust it y'all i tried to do a test today and i didn't like it look if this if this doesn't come out right we're fighting we're gonna fight okay <laughs> now if it doesn't come out right we're just going to do an updo an updo will always save you this is as much as i'm going to use Ryan Little. <laughs> guys so i am continuing to set my hair in bantu knots now y'all bantu knots to me is the equivalent of the wash and go it is a style for those of us in the four category that is consistently inconsistent you have no idea you know how it's going to turn out and i absolutely love it when i go on youtube and i look at all these videos and these girls are setting their hair with the perfect corkscrew band to knot and my hair is looking like this girl so we're just going to continue to do it um yeah but you know i've done band to knots in the past and i do have a, a great tutorial that i'm going to link here in the cards and this is the only time i've been able to get a really good um, band to knot and it also does depend on the type of products you use now i have no problems with the talia wajid products and i've used them before if, with a twist out however i do find that in my opinion band to knots work best if you use products with a little bit more hold so we're going to continue to set my hair so all right you guys
next one, y'all. I don't know how many I have. I didn't expect to do them this small. I wanted to do them a little bit larger. Girl, my bantu notes, my bantu knots don't look as neat as some people do. I mean, it's, you, I see some videos where it's just a perfect corkscrew. Not over here. Look, I can barely twist it. Oh, this cute, girl. I can go to the grocery store. <laughs> So I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have about 20, 20 of them. Um, girl, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep very carefully. What I should have done is split it like this so I could lay on my back, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put a head scarf on and we're going to untwist in the morning, okay? All right, y'all, so it's the very next day and I'm going to remove my bonnet. Now, I'm gonna place a little bit of oil to help unravel these bantu knives. Look, it was hell sleeping in these, you guys. I was tossing and turning. Not fun at all. Um, One or two sections or one or two bantu knots were still a little damp. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my time to unravel uh, and hopefully this will turn out okay. a mix between a deranged fragile rod and someone who keeps a bunch of peppermints in their purse. It's frizzy. And this part was still wet. Excuse the background. I'm gonna figure out how to style this hair. Uh-uh. Yeah, so not really feeling the results on this. And honestly, y'all, I can count on one hand how many times I've gotten a successful band to not style. So I'm going to go ahead and create a retro type style and use a headscarf. I'm um, making some bangs here using some bobby pins to secure that in. And I'm just going to tie a big bow. Look, I figured tie a big bow, uh, fluff it up, and it'll be cute. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to maintain this look. It's just not going to happen. Um, Y'all, I do apologize. My head is cut off in this footage here. When I was recording it, it looked like I captured everything. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Do you like Bantu knots? You know, I think that if I were to use a different product, maybe it will come out okay. So I'm going to turn around to the side and to the back. And that is it. Thank y'all for watching. Take care. Bye.